Are those street cars? You, Lee's Bradford. Yeah, mate, I tell you, the traffic's a nightmare on the M62. What time's your flight? I'll do it. Be with you in ten minutes. You're still at the same address, Colin. All right, mate, cheers, bye. Kid, it is your birthday. You cannot go to Yorkshire. I happen to like Yorkshire. Anyway, what'll be on my album? You won't be on your own. You'll have Colin in the back. Away from here. Oh, mate, listen, you can't. Why not? Not throwing me a party, are, are they? Oh. I specifically said I don't want a flipping party. No one flipping believed you. Well, believe this, Lloyd. I am going to Leeds Bradford, and then I am going to pull a ten-hour shift. I might even take me CDs and listen to them on the... Oh, no, I can't, can I? Because they weren't even there. Goodbye, mate. Colin, you have my sympathy. Hello. Hello, boys. Have you got my workouts for next week, please? I have just done them. Ah, this looks cosy. Can I make it a foursome? Did you play uh, golf? No, never. Hey, did you get me a cake? Yeah. Wait till you see it. Well, it's actually two cakes. It's a four and a zero. Cost us an arm and a leg. It's gonna take him ages to blow those candles out. <laughs> you know, he should have taken the day off. I knew he'd play the martyr. Hey, Lloyd, come and join us, man. Yeah, come and join us. A slight problem. Where is he? Leeds. Eh? Well, Leeds Bradford, actually, the airport. Oh, where's he going? No, no, he's on a job. But he insisted that he's going to work all night. Lloyd, we left you in charge. In the end, they had to tell him. He said he didn't want a party. He was adamant, so that didn't help. And the M62 is like a car park. Anyway, I've got to go. There's no one on switch. Hey, don't shoot the messenger. Hey, Lloyd. Lloyd. So let me get this straight. You tell Lloyd. Lloyd tells Steve. Now, Steve's not coming. Hang on a minute. She told Lloyd. Oh, hang me out to dry, why don't you? Flipping, Nick. Still not back. Well, he's in Manchester, but he won't come home. <sighs> I've gone to all that trouble. He knows that. Did he not like his presents? I mean, was he upset, you know, because I didn't get him something electronic, you know, like a car or, or, or something big, like a, like a holiday or a, an iPad or a motorbike? He had a motorbike, nearly broke his neck. Truth is, we just couldn't afford much. Oh, come on, the slippers went down all right. And the coffee table. Oh, oh, come on, he said he liked that. I did worry, though, that he might think it was a little bit functional. Nothing wrong with functional when you get to our age. I mean, I've tried ringing him, but he, he won't answer. Well, you could try calling a cab. Oh, that is actually not a bad idea. Using a fake name, of course. OK, I will be... Cathy. And I'm going to the roller disco. Where's your skates? Renting them. <laughs> All right, then. <laughs> Let's see who wants to take Cathy to the roller disco. Now, stand back. The switchboard might explode. <laughs> He's taking his time. Well, his last drop-off was the eye hospital. He'll stop for a pasty. At the eye hospital? There's a Greg's down the road. You know, he loves his comfort food. Comfort food? His friends and family want to throw him a party and he'd rather sit in a lay-by eating a sausage roll. Actually, he's more of a pasty man. Although he has been known to flirt with the odd meatball lattice in the past. How did he sound when you spoke to him? He didn't seem himself. Hello, babe. All right, mate, where are you? 20 minutes away from pick-up. How was your pasty? Well, it's sold out. It wasn't a total disaster. They've got a new girl behind the counter. She's got a... Mate, the phone's ringing. I'll speak to you later, yeah? 